We march forward into our future to take back our country and to save it for our children. Si se puede! Hey, that was great. Let's give Mike Bonin a big hand. My name is Paul Koretz, and I'm his colleague on the City Council, along with uh, Gil Cedillo here, and uh, City Controller Ron Galbrun, and Council Member David Rue. I'm sure we've all read that Donald Trump's disapproval rating is 55%. But the real question is, who the hell are the other 45% that don't disapprove? And what the hell are they thinking? Just a few of the highlights since we were here last year to protest the election of the Groper-in-Chief. Hey, we're still here. Trump has been trying to get California blown off the map in a hail of nuclear missiles. The only thing responsible for our survival is that the North Korean leader has been the adult in the room. I'm sure all of us wanted to bet our lives on that. Trump has fought to return us to a full-blown fossil fuel economy. Another attempt to destroy the world, but perhaps a little bit more slowly. How did we elect a supervillain bent on the destruction of the world? He has said that some racists and neo-Nazis are fine people. He has appointed people to head key government agencies who want to destroy those agencies. The environment, Consumer protection, who cares? He's working to lease most of our coast for offshore oil drilling, endangering tourism and habitat and marine life alike, except of course in Florida where they voted for him. He has pursued a misogynistic agenda befitting the pussy-grabbing narcissist that he is. He's worked to have millions lose their health care, but most of those will be Democrats, so again, who cares? Of course he wants to kick the dreamers out. No surprise that he's allowed a government shutdown or that he's leading voter suppression efforts to keep minorities from voting so he and other Republicans can get reelected. He's removing millions of acres from national park protection. And what do you think all those so-called shithole countries think of us now? The good news is what's been happening out there on the natural. The Me Too movement has been one of the most astonishing and fast cultural changes that we've ever seen. The culture of silence and cover-up is over, and the once mighty are following, and that gives me hope. What also gives me hope is this. No less than Abraham Lincoln once said, we the people are the right masters of both the Congress and the courts, not to overthrow the Constitution, but to overthrow those who pervert the Constitution. With the midterm congressional elections coming up, we can do just that. But we can't be complacent. We can't assume that a blue wave will rise and wash them all away. We need to be that blue wave. We have to walk for candidates, make phone calls, raise money from the grassroots. We have to do it for months and months. And then in 2020, we finally have to rid ourselves of this idiot. All right, thank you to our male allies.